Good morning. Okay, so we have a small discussion to do because today I might be doing something I don't think I was ever going to do. But um, I hope everybody's well, I hope everybody's good. And uh, this is going to be a little bit of a vlog. I'm working today, but I'd like to uh, discuss something that I didn't think I would do, but I'm, I'm probably going to do today. And uh, I'm kind of okay with it. So yes, like I was saying, um, I didn't think I was gonna do this, but it's come to the point where I don't I don't think I need my 5D Mark III anymore, and uh, I'm looking at selling it. So there's a guy coming to look at it today, and uh, I think if he's happy, I'm just gonna let it go. So uh, two reasons is the the value of the camera is kind of deteriorating because of um, time, and I mean the Mark IV has been out for a while, and um, because my you know the way I've been looking at my work has changed a bit. Um, this just seems to be one of those things that needs to happen. So uh, yeah, that she is. Um, I've had this camera for at least I don't know. I'll probably I'll go work it out, but it's been at least four years probably. Um, I had it from new, so it's only been with me, and I've really looked after it and stuff. It's obviously got its few like scuff marks from. Um, putting it down on the table and stuff. But other than that, it's been very good. I've never had an error message in my life. Um, I've never had anything pack up on me in my life. So it's really been good. But um, things change and uh, I have a new camera I'm looking towards, plus I got two for the video. So um, I think I'm good. Uh, kind of scary to let go of the camera that's kind of built up everything you know. But it's, uh, it's good. I think. Anyway, I'll discuss this more with you later. Okay, so, it's too dark. So, let's discuss. So first things first, I've got a bit of time um, before I work because they told me to come earlier than I'm supposed to. So uh, here I am filming some more video. This baby, in its box because I might sell it later. Um, the, the main issue with this camera and probably the reason I'm swapping is I've always, always been looking for a smaller system for my work, right? But nothing's ever been able to keep up with this thing. So yeah, like, um, problem with it, it's super heavy. It's super big. I mean, and it does great work because, I mean, it's a, it's a full frame and it's like one of the best cameras that's came out. And um, I've never had an issue with it, but it's heavy. And working with it all day, rough. And uh, I've tried everything from like, um, you know, Fuji systems and uh, the Olympus system, and both of them are awesome. But they don't cater to everything I do. So I shoot a lot of dance events and I shoot a lot of high speed sync stuff. So the dance events, they can't track the dancers as well as I needed to with the mirrorless. I know the new Sony A7, a7 III apparently tracks really well and um, the A7 III tracks really well but I mean then you still need Sony glass and as much as I want to like to try it it's not out yet so um, maybe but I, I mean for me the only thing that tracks really well is through the mirror so I need a mirrored camera right but I'd like something small which kind of is the problem and that's why I was stuck with the 5D because low light's good everything's good but then what happened is I needed something to vlog with and to do these videos with and I didn't want to use my 5D because I have to interchange between two. So I got a Canon, uh, Canon G5X and it was awesome. But I didn't like that it had attached lens which was good for some stuff but I mean you, you can't go as far right. It was tiny. It probably weighed as much as this camera which is the SL2 I got the other day. But 
it didn't have as much variety and the other reason I wanted the camera is I don't like taking my 5D out with me to like walk around with my girlfriend at the, at the at an event or like family stuff because my 5D is a work camera so I tried not to use it much which is stupid because now it's lying around there and I'm not using it and it's not making money and it's not being used at all so uh, I wanted something else. so the G5X was supposed to do that but I still I didn't enjoy using it so I, I left it home most of the time so eventually I sold it I decided I need a second body so I bought the Canon 77D where is it which is this baby right so this is this is what I bought it's a very light after all my research it's pretty much this is an ADD in a cheap like hard plastic body um, the only other thing it can't do is it can't uh, micro adjust your lenses but because I'm shooting with LCD most of the time it doesn't matter um, but and then I have the mirror as a backup for events so I've done some dance shoots here some and uh, works great I shot up to 3200 ISO a little bit of grain, pop a little bit of noise reduction. Go. So, I don't know. I really like this. It's super light. This is probably half the weight of the 5D. Um, small. I mean, people say it's too small, but it, I mean, it fits my hand pretty well and I've got big hands. Um, and yeah, I mean, the flip out screen is really cool. I like using the face tracking for portraits with people that are a bit shy and they don't like you kind of holding the camera. It feels a bit too much like pressure. So, this is really good and, and since I bought it in January, I've, I think I've used my 5D twice. Um, on a wedding once as a backup camera and at an event once as a backup camera. Other than that, I take this everywhere. If I have a portrait shoot, if I have a dance shoot, if I have anything, I take this because I like using it more. I actually like taking this out, so um, that's why I kept it. Then I thought, let me buy a second one, um, but that's maybe a bit overkill. And uh, it's a crop sensor, which makes me nervous because I actually like it in the full frame. So 60 Mark II is what I'm trying to um, organize so I could test it and use it a bit. Um, and then I've been looking for a SL2, which is this one, the Canon 200D, which does the same video as this one. Um, it has nine focus points in the mirror, which is horrible, but uh, with the camera, it's only going to be used for video and uh, using the screen. So when my girlfriend's taking uh, candid shots at events and stuff. So, I mean, that's what it does. This camera and that camera is about, maybe, it's maybe a bit bigger than that one. But this one's got like over 40 points of focus. How many points does it have? A shit load. So, um, I don't know, this camera does everything I needed to do, even low light stuff. Um, and then I don't like buying new stuff. I like buying secondhand stuff or someone even though this one was new um, But this one was 10 grand and it ADD 16 grand for the same thing. It's just it's just plastic Which makes it lighter, which is good. So that's that it does great video and I've been enjoying the dual pixel autofocus Which is filming my face right now um, It really works well and then for portraits because it's using that autofocus with a dual pixel it you can kind of like you, can, you don't have to worry about the focus points, you can just watch the person or the kid or whoever's face and when they get a reaction you take it, you don't have to worry about oh shit I need to keep it like this and then people don't react as well as as you not looking at them through there. So that's one thing I like and that makes it pretty much a mirrorless. I mean the mirror is just there as backup for if you need to focus quicker or if you need to track quicker. So I mean awesome. If Canon could reduce eye autofocus like the Sony I just think we can. And then the best part about Canon is I've had Canon all along, so I just kept the lenses. I mean, if I get a Sony, I gotta get an adapter and then it's gonna kill my focus speed. And and then the Fuji has a XH1, which apparently focuses better and focuses really well, but it's the size of a 5D or the weight of a 5D. So what's the point then? These two, plus all the lenses in my bag, is worth less than the Canon 5D Mark III's body. Which, I mean, for the, Maybe it's this much better quality wise, but this much is not worth four times the price. I'd like to eventually find a 16 Mark II to play with, see how much it compares to this one, and if it's better, I'll get one as a, as a work camera. If it's the same, I'm gonna get another one of these. Um, and that's just, that's just my uh, methods. I kept the 5D till now because I was worried I'd need it. And I did as I did everything. I did a wedding, I did a dance shoot, I did portraits, I did commercial work, I did product, all with this camera. Never once did I need that camera. So it's probably time to let it go. 